be demonstrating how you can create this looped logo text using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document and I'm going to use a custom size and set it to 1280 by 1280 pixels. Go ahead and click create. And what I want to do next is I just want to make sure we have our windows set up as you see it here on my screen. So I'm going to go over here to where it says windows and make sure you have the following boxes checked and only these boxes, control, align, color, and stroke. And once we've done that, I'm going to come over to view and I'm going to turn off snap to pixel and going back to view over here. The only thing you're going to want selected is snap to point. And once we've done that, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to click and hold on. Uh, it should be the rectangle tool by default, but if you click and hold on it, you get a flyout menu with all these shapes. I'm going to choose ellipse from that flyout menu. And then I'm going to come over here to the page and I'm going to hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle like that. And what I want to do first is just get rid of that uh, white fill color. So I'm going to click on this red slash right here to get rid of that. And up here where it says stroke, I'm going to change the size of that to 10 points. Let's go ahead and choose 10. And what I want to do next is I want to come over here to the transform uh, panel. If you don't have the transform panel visible, just go to window and choose transform and it should pop up. And down here where it says scale stroke and effects, I want to make sure that that's unchecked for the duration of this tutorial. And once we've done that, I'll just flip back over to the align uh, menu. Now I'm going to go to the select tool. I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to change the size of it. I'm going to change the width to 200 pixels, but I first want to make sure I have this constrained width and height proportions lock turned on. We don't want it off. We want it on like that. And then I'll just change the width to 200 and hit enter. And what I want to do now is create a duplicate of that. So I'm going to hold alt and click and drag to create a duplicate. And I'll make this one 250. 250, hit enter. Create another duplicate by holding alt and clicking and dragging on it. Make this one 300. Repeat that step, hold Alt, click and drag. This one's going to be 350. And then we'll do one more, hold Alt, click and drag, and I'll make this one 400. So we're doing 50, 50 pixel increments from 200 to 400 like that. And now what I wanna do is I wanna click and drag over all of these circles. And over here in the Align tab, I wanna make sure where it says Align to, we have that set to Align to Artboard. And once we've done that, we could align it on the horizontal axis, and then on the vertical axis like that. And the next thing we're going to do is go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And then we want to take the opacity of this and bring this down about in half. Roughly in half. doesn't have to be exactly in half. And then that's pretty good. I'll click off of that to deselect everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the Pen tool, which is over here. And I'm going to snap to the right, the outside right edge of this outermost circle. Let me zoom in on this so we can see it better. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a few times to zoom in. And if you want to move the page around, just press down the space bar and then click and drag. I'm going to snap the cursor onto the, the far right side of this circle and click to create a point there. And then hold Shift and bring this line straight all the way through and then go ahead and click when you get to the outside there. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this shape going around the outside of the circle and then snap it back to the starting point. Now let me hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. What I'm going to do is go back to the Select tool. I'm going to click and drag over everything. And then I'm going to go to the Shape Builder tool, which is over here, the Shape Builder tool. And I'm just going to hold Alt on the keyboard and click over this top area to delete all of that. And once we've done that, I'll grab the select tool and well, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take these objects and bring these to the left over here. I'm going to scale these down a little bit. So I'm going to hold shift and just click and drag that down a little bit to scale that down. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of these. So I'm going to hold alt and click and drag to create a duplicate. And I want to rotate these around. So I'm going to bring the cursor to the top right corner until the cursor turned into a rotate icon. And once it turns into a rotate icon, you can just click and, drag, click and drag to rotate it around vertically like that. And then once you get around here, just hold shift so it locks it onto that axis. And then we can let go of everything. And what I'll do now is I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this bottom left node and just snap it onto this top left node of this side over here. Now let me create a duplicate of that by holding alt and clicking and dragging on it. Again, rotate it around using the rotate icon in the top right corner. Hold shift to lock it onto the axis like that. 
hold control, grab this node, and snap it onto here like that. And this portion right here, we're spelling out the word logo, as you can see in the thumbnail. This portion right here is going to be the letter L. The straight part of the letter L, we're going to do that last. But right here, this will be the letter O. I'm going to click and drag over these two sets of objects right here. And I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag them to create duplicates. And this is going to be the letter G. So to do that, I'm going to hold Control, grab this node right here, and then just snap it onto this node so that it lines up nicely like that. And then finally, we have to create a, uh, a segment for the letter, for the other letter O. So I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag that. Let me zoom back in, hold Control, grab this node, snap it onto here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to click and drag just over this bottom half of these circles right here. And I'll just click and drag. I'll hold Alt and, Alt and Shift and click and drag it down about that far to create other to create another uh, segment of half circles, which is going to be the bottom portion of the letter G. So now we're going to create the straight part of the letter G. Let me zoom in on this area right here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. Uh, I'm going to click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then I'm going to take the pen tool, snap to this corner right here, bring it straight up, snap to this corner, and snap to this other corner, or anchor, anchor point, rather. It's technically on a corner. And then back down here, and back to the starting point, like that. And then we have a straight line that we could duplicate a few times and work with. So let me go back to the select tool. Let me take the opacity of this. Actually, let me click on it again so we get that menu. We're going to take the opacity of that and bring that down about in half, then click out of that. And I'm going to hold Alt and click that to create a duplicate, then hold Control and grab the corner and snap it onto that corner, and repeat that three more times for these next segments. So just hold Alt, Alt click that, hold Control, grab that corner and snap it onto there, and we're going to do the same thing, just like that. And what I want to do next is I want to create duplicates of these five lines that we just created. So I'm just going to click and drag over just those five lines like that to select them. And then I'll hold Alt and click and drag them to create duplicates. And let me hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. I'm going to put these up here. Hold Control, grab this corner, and just snap it onto there like that. And what I'll do next is let me select those again. What I want to do is I want to make this letter L go up a little higher, as you notice here in the thumbnail. It goes a little higher than the rest of the letter. So to do that, I'm going to have those selected. I'm going to go to the uh, Direct Selection tool, and then click and drag just over those top nodes right there. And then just hold, click and drag them up, and then hold Shift to lock it vertically like that. And just bring them up about as high as you'd like. I'd say right about there is pretty good. And the last step would be to eliminate the space, eliminate the segments of the shapes that we don't need in order to create this overlapping, like this sort of like this looping kind of effect. So to do that, let's go back to the select tool. I'm going to click and drag over everything. And we're going to use the shape builder tool to accomplish this. So I'm going to come over here to the shape builder tool. I'm going to zoom in over this segment right here where the L meets the letter O. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel. And wherever there's a segment that I want to delete, I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and then click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these segments out of here. You'll have to try to envision smooth negative space running between the intersection between the letter. You've got to have to kind of visualize the pathways as you're doing this so you know which areas to delete. Just like that. That's pretty good. And over here, I'm going to go straight over here to the letter G and start working on that. Let me zoom in on this because this one's a little more tricky. We want the letter G to be overlapping everything. So I'm going to hold Alt and start clicking on the outer edge, the outer ring of the letter right here. Do the same thing over here. Work your way to the inner rings and come down here. I'm going to have to zoom in a little more to get a closer look at this. Okay, that's good. And again, to, just to, to navigate, I'm just pressing down the space bar and then clicking and dragging. So I'm just going to Alt-click these segments to get rid of them. This little segment right here, you have to zoom in really close to get that one. 
get rid of these. Now you could technically just hold Alt and then just click and drag to draw lines through them, which would be quicker. So if you feel more if you feel more comfortable doing that, then go right ahead. And you can't forget about these down here. Okay, so next I'm going to have to come and delete this area where this O meets the letter G. And again, if you notice in the thumbnail, this is coming up from down here and up and to the right, just like the letter O connecting, the letter L connecting with the letter O is. So try to visualize those pathways in there and then delete all of the shapes that are in its way, which would be these shapes right here. Oh, you know, if I messed that up. If you mess up, you could just hit Alt Z to undo it. And then we'll just get rid of these down here. And I think that covers everything. Now, once you're done, you can go back to the Select tool. And with everything still selected, you could bring the opacity up to 100%. And if you want, you could even unify everything together by going to the align, I'm, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Pathfinder panel and go to Unite, click on that, and then you could just go ahead and make it whatever color you'd want. And as you can see, we are finished. We've created our looped logo text using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.